just slightly more than two months ago, I had a stroke. Uh, actually, I had two strokes, one on each side of my brain, uh, that um, caused me to lose the use of my right hand and arm. And I've been working, and it's actually the second time that that has happened to me. Six months earlier, I had a stroke that caused me to lose the use of my right hand alone. Only that was misdiagnosed, so I didn't even realize I'd had a stroke then. And I, I, I had an album that I had recorded just prior to, just before that first stroke. It was finished and ready to go. And then I thought, well, I can't play it, so I'm gonna, not going to release it until I can play all the stuff on it again. And I worked for six months to get my hand back. And um, just when I had gotten to the point of feeling I can play it again, and I fixed a, a, a date for releasing the album at uh, May 15th, on May 10th was when I had another stroke, my, my other strokes. And this time it was much worse, and I lost the hand and the arm. And I have been working very hard on getting it back. And I've set a release date now of um, this coming Monday, when I've decided I'm not going to wait until I'm ready to play it, because I, you know, I've already waited so long. I'm, I'm putting it out, and it's been sent in to, to uh, CD Baby, who's distributed to, to uh, all these online things, and I'm printing up jackets and making CDs with lyrics and stuff. Uh, anyway, today I tried playing the title song of that album and found that I can, in fact, play it. Not as well as I do on the album, but I, it, to me this is a milestone to be able to play one of these songs, so I'm going to play it tonight. Um, the song is, is called Delia's Gone. The album is called Delia's Gone, Murder Ballads and Other Songs of Love and Death. So it's a very cheerful album, <laughs> as you can imagine. Delia's Gone is a true story. It happened in 1900 in Savannah, Georgia. And at the time, people started making songs up, uh, up, up about it right, almost right away. And there were a lot of songs about it for some peculiar reason. They may all have like branched off from the same song that broke up into different songs that moved to different places. And very quickly, the story became very twisted and very different from what actually happened. And, and Delia became the villain of the piece, although she's the person who was murdered. Um, but I found online a, um, uh, uh, the results of some research that a, a scholar had done by going back and looking at the newspaper reports of the, of the time of the trial of Delia's murderer. And um, I decided to write my own version of the song that tells the true story. And so that's what this is. And the mirror is going to fall down. It's like mm -hmm. a ghost. Mm -hmm. It's a ghostly mirror. Okay. It's Delia. It's Delia. It's Delia's ghost. <laughs> Oh, 
She was the scrub girl in the whorehouse. My Delia was no whore. Oh, but late in the night left her lying on the floor. And now all I ever had is gone. It was the whorehouse Christmas party. My Delia was just a child, but that boy child who was courting her, he kept saying, she's so wild. And now all I ever had is gone. He called her his easy rider. He said she rode like a buckaroo. She said, you lying son of a bitch. I'm a lady, that's not true. And now all I ever had is gone. He looked at her and he snarled. How dare you call me that name? And then he reached down for his gun And then he took dead aim And then all I ever had is gone Dear, is gone One more round, dear, is gone One more round Been thinking about my dear, yeah. it's like drinking from a broken cup. Oh, she's down there in the boneyard, and she ain't never gonna get up. And now all I ever had is gone. Dear, you dear, yeah. oh Lord, why didn't you run? Just 14 when my dear you died that night and now I've buried my own sweet daughter and my life just